Good day everyone. I am Sheila May Carbos with my partner Sophia Joy Enriquez from BSC26. We are here to present all about the Cambodia police system. But first, let us all familiarize with the country of Cambodia. Phnom Penh is the capital of Cambodia and their form of the government is constitutional monarchy with two legislative houses. The King of Cambodia is King Norodom Sihamoni, while their Prime Minister is Prime Minister Hun Sen. Now, let's talk about the Cambodia police system history. In 1863 to 1883, the Cambodia is under the French protectorate and still enjoyed the freedom to govern the state. However, it is clearly stated in the convention that Khmer government civil servants are continued to govern their own territory under the French supervision. In 1884 to 1945, many Khmer people must sacrifice their time and effort to strengthen the security and social order with France in policing for 61 years before the establishment of national police on May 16, 1945. In 1905, the Cambodian Maritime Police was established. On August 29, 1953, France transferred the police institution to the Royal Government of Cambodia. Essentially, Cambodia had been given police sovereignty for more than two months. Franco Khmer Modus Vivendi in 1946 was also known as French Senior Resident Supervisor since 1889. He was replaced the French public commissioner. In 1949, the Kingdom of Cambodia reaffirmed its membership in the French Union as an associated state. From 1925 to 1959, Khmer term was resonated with the French word police, including commune patrol team, police team, royal police team, and royal police brigade. Cambodia should adopt new legislation that explicitly governs police use of force in accordance with international law and standards. Use of firearms can only be lawful when it is necessary to confront an imminent threat of death or serious injury or a grave and proximate threat to life. On August 8, 2006, King Narodom Sihamoni set the date May 16, 1945 as the birth of Cambodian National Police. The Ministry of Interior developed a plan of action to organize the 62nd anniversary of the establishment of the Cambodian National Police. They officially announced the Cambodian National Police to the Cambodian National Police Force, national and international communities. Also, they research and publish the Cambodian National Police activities and achievements in different places to maintain the national security, the public order, and also the social safety. Use of force in Cambodia. According to Article 64 of 2007 Code of Criminal Procedure, However, provides that all cases in which a judicial police officer has committed a misconduct during the performance of his duty shall be reported by the royal prosecutor or investiga investigating judge to the general prosecutor attached to the court of appeal. According to the constitutional provisions under Article 32 of Constitution of the Kingdom of Cambodia, Everybody shall have the rights to life, freedom, and personal security. Capital punishment is prohibited. Article 38 of the Constitution provides that the law prohibits all physical abuse of any individual. The law protects the life, honor, and dignity of citizens. No person shall be accused, arrested, or detained except in accordance with the law. The coercion, physical ill treatment, or any other mistreatment which imposes additional punishment on a detainee or a prisoner is pre prohibited person 
is prohibited. Persons who commit, participate in, or conspire in the in such acts shall be punished according to the law. Confessions obtained by physical or mental force shall not be admissible as evidence of guilt. So, here is the ranking system of Cambodian police force. The highest rank is general and next is the lieutenant general, major general, brigadier general, colonel, lieutenant colonel, major, captain, first lieutenant, second lieutenant, chief warrant officer, warrant officer, sergeant major, first sergeant, and the lowest rank is staff sergeant. The police staff sergeant typically receives about 118 US dollars a month of salary and aside from that, uh, they also receive a monthly ration of rice. The Cambodian police chief is called Commissioner General. The law enforcement of Cambodia is handled by the Cambodian National Police. It is one of the three general departments within the Ministry of Interior. The National Police total is 64,000 and it is divided into four autonomous units and five central departments. The National Police share their significant functional overlap with the military police which functions within the Ministry of Defense. The police force is organized into six departments. First is the security, transport, public order, border, administrative, and judicial. The military police or Royal Gendarmerie is a branch of Royal Cambodian Armed Forces. It has a strength of more than 7,000 deployed in all provinces with headquarters in Phnom Penh. The units includes mobile team consisting of six intervention units, an intervention vehicle battalion, a cavalry, and four infantry with bases in Phnom Penh. The Gender Marine monitors all 24 provinces, and the training school is located in Kambol Commune, Kandal Province. Royal Gendarmerie is responsible for the maintenance of public order and internal security, including restoring peace and stability after a heavy disturbance, counterterrorism, countering violent groups, and suppressing prison riots. It is the civil duties include providing security and public peace, investigating and preventing organized crime, terrorism, and other violent groups, protecting state and private property, helping and assisting civilians in other emergency, natural disaster, civil unrest, and armed conflicts. These functions overlap between the Gendarmerie and the National Police. Next is the professional training of National Police. On April 4, 1947, the Royal Crown established a police professional training school. And on January 26, 1952, the Royal Decree established the Office of Self-Defense Team and Provincial Guards, including training school for supervisors. Other is the National Police School. It is established in 1954, but its activities is postponed since 1956 as the government felt short of equipment. But in the 1959, with the support of the United States government, the school continued its activities but was renamed the Royal Police Academy. Implementing police rules at the time after the completion of the course at the training school presented great challenges. First, the police were new to the job with no experiences, no means of transport, no equipment to support the operation, and were confronted with the overthrown Khmer Rouge troops who were struggling to return the power. The challenges, however, encourage they to work hard and achieve great results in maintaining political stability, social order, and gaining tremendous experiences through the process of on-the-job training under the charismatic leadership of the Cambodian People's Revolutionary Party. 
the Cambodian National Police has been restored and essentially developed towards an institution that adheres to an independent professionalism, high standard, and unity under the direct leadership of Commissioner General of the Cambodian National Police. Hundreds of local and overseas training courses have been organized to enhance skills, professionalism, and code of conduct for police officers. The Cambodian National Police have been determined to overcome these innumerable difficulties and challenges in order to carry out their duties with strict responsibility to combat crimes, including criminal activities, drug abuse, human trafficking, and other forms of transnational crimes to protect people's lives and property and also to rescue victims. The police force of Cambodia has been proud of their activities and achievements in maintaining security, public order, and social safety. The Cambodia Minister of Interior Organization includes 1. Minister of Interior, 2. Six Secretaries of State, 3. Four Under Secretaries of State. Cambodia's Ministry of Interior it is in the charge of Cambodia National Police and other law enforcement administrations including police training units, judicial police, drug units, border police, and prisons. The Cambodia National Police values are 1. Honesty 2. Integrity 3. Just and fair within the law 4. Transparent and responsible 5. Building relationship with communities. 6. Respect the different needs of the people. 7. Protecting rights, equality, and human dignity.